Neom is the city of the future, but the line is just something else. When Prince Mohammed bin Salman, better known as MBS, introduced the idea of the line, everyone thought it was just one of those future ideas that would never really happen. But when construction started, everyone paused for a bit. Imagine an entire city spread over 105.6 miles or 170 kilometers. But unlike other cities, this one is in a straight line. However, it gets even more interesting. According to MBS, everything will be five minutes away, and this is on foot. After all, there will be no cars in this city. There is just so much about this city that makes it seem like an impossible project. It's also been said that it'll only take 20 minutes to get from one end of the city to the other. Imagine traveling for 105 miles or 170 kilometers in 20 minutes. But is it really possible? Could such a city really be built? Well, stay tuned to find out. The line embodies Crown Prince bin Salman's aspiration to build a civilizational revolution. And as far as building a futuristic city goes, Saudi Arabia has decided to test the limits and embark on a monumental endeavor. The line will be a 105-mile long city with a total height of 1,640 feet or 500 meters. We're talking about a city that is the height of the One World Trade Center. This is a true architectural marvel, stretching across the desert adjacent to the Suez Canal. And as much as you might think this is already cool, the project is more insane than you think. So, what exactly is the line and what does it entail? The line was envisioned as a cornerstone of the upcoming high-tech metropolis known as Neom. And for those who don't know, Neom is the futuristic city being built by Saudi Arabia. Everything about this city is just marvelous, as it's been proposed that flying taxis and smart bridges will be everywhere. When it comes to the line, it's been said that it'll be large enough to hold up to 9 million inhabitants. This is more than just urban life. We're talking about a city that reimagines entire urban ecosystems. Imagine being able to go to the grocery store, the hospital, or the school all in just a five-minute jaunt. However, that's not all that makes this entire city the city of the future. According to the blueprints, the concept, which has actually started construction, will have state-of-the-art high-speed train. This train will ferry people from one end of the skyscraper to the other in just 20 minutes. In essence, the line aspires to become more than just a feat of engineering or an aesthetic marvel. The line's main aim is to offer pragmatic solutions to the complex problems of urban living and environmental stability. It'll redefine architecture and even human habitation as a whole. It might also be the first city with zero emissions given that all its energy will come from natural sources, such as the wind or the sun, and there will be no traffic or motors running in the city. That is just too good to be true. When we think of the adage, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, we clearly need to redefine it when it comes to the line. Well, that's when it comes to urban planning and high-speed rail. One of the main focuses of this architectural titan is to make high-speed train travel more than viable. It plans to make it exemplary. But why do we say this? It's been anticipated that a high-speed train will zip through the city with an agenda as streamlined as its architectural host. The designers behind this train claim that it'll only make four stops and cover 105 miles 170 kilometers in no more than 20 minutes. Yes, the train will travel that entire distance in 20 minutes. Sounds too unreal. Well, that's the initial plan. The idea behind this is the linearity of the city itself. It'll have a straightforward design, meaning the train can achieve optimal speeds. This is mainly because it won't have to deal with curves or complicated track configurations. However, there is more to minimalism. The fact that there's a very limited number of stations is another masterstroke. Fewer stops translate to fewer slowdowns and fewer accelerations, meaning the train can maintain a high velocity for most of its route. With this, the residents will not only enjoy the luxury of fast travel, but also benefit from the increased efficiency and energy conservation that come with maintaining a constant speed. When the project was initially launched in July 2022, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman had quite a few things to say about it. He said, At the Lions launch last year, we committed to a civilizational revolution that puts humans first based on a radical change in urban planning. The design revealed today for the city's vertically layered communities will challenge the traditional flat horizontal cities and create a model for nature preservation and enhanced human livability. The line will tackle the challenges facing humanity and urban life today and will shine a light on alternative ways to live. We cannot ignore the livability environmental crises facing our world's cities, and Neom is at the forefront of delivering new and imaginative solutions to address these issues. That was quite the speech about Neom and the line.
There's a common urban labyrinth that we must fight to get through every day in today's world. This is where a simple trip across town, maybe even to get groceries, turns into an epic journey of train transfers and endless waiting. And while modern cities across the globe grapple with congested roads and complex rail networks, the line is proposing an elegantly simple solution to all that. A linear city that gets rid of all cars and associated traffic woes. In fact, some have started calling it the five-minute city. And no, that's not the duration of your stay here. This is the time it would take you to get to any essential facility on foot. And when your destination's further than that, a high-speed underground rail is at your service. This promises to get you there without disrupting a hair on your head or the aesthetic harmony of the cityscape. In terms of urban living, this is simply groundbreaking. The underground placement of the rail line cleverly avoids interfering with daily life as it maintains the city's visual appeal. You'll no longer have to look at towering rail structures as you look out your window. Furthermore, you can have more peaceful evenings as this system has no more noisy trains. Instead, you have a transport system so seamlessly integrated into the city's fabric that it's practically invisible. However, that is not the end of it all. This smart city's linear structure is designed so that nature is never more than a few steps away. But how could that be possible? After all, the buildings in this futuristic metropolis will have a slim profile, which is approximately 650 feet, approximately 200 meters wide. These will also be inward-facing. However, the outer walls will be made of mirror windows. This will give the residents wonderful and endless views of open, natural spaces. This means the widest views of nature where you can ponder life's mysteries or just unwind without the urban hustle and bustle. In addition to all the fantastic features that this city brings, Neom isn't merely looking horizontally. They are also setting their sights on the sky. According to a report by Forbes, the advent of EVTOL transportation options like the Volocopters on the table, and it's aimed at slicing through travel time even further. Since the day they were introduced, trains have been game changers in shaping cities and influencing urban design. The line has proven that even in this modern era, these iron behemoths still shape our perception of what urban living can and should be like. However, they are contributing to a radically different vision in this case. They are contributing to a city focusing more on accessibility as a necessity than a luxury. For those who are doubting whether this project actually exists, there's some drone footage that shows excavation taking place. And from the footage released, we can confirm that this $500 billion venture is actually underway. The site can be spotted on Google Maps, extending in a perfectly straight line across northern Saudi Arabian deserts and mountains. Some might say that it'll be a project that'll stall, while others may claim that it's a project that's going to cost trillions. Others even predict that this project will fail terribly. However, given that it's being supported by an entire nation and a family that is worth trillions, we think it'll be completed even though its construction will continue for many years to come. Given a chance, would you sign up to live in this futuristic and visionary city? Let us know in the comments below. And before you go, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more visionary builds across the world. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.